The sounds of bulldozers and cranes are starting to become permanent white noise on the TCU campus. Well, I think it's just kind of getting a little bit out of control and I think it's unnecessary. The Bright Divinity School found the construction necessary because of lack of space for their students and faculty. Crammed offices and overstuffed shelves are just a couple of reasons the Bright School needed a new building. This space, and, and we just cannot grow. I mean, there's just no space for any other person in this building. Um, but with the new space, we could imagine a student body of 450. The new building, which will be called the W. Oliver and Nell A. Harrison Building, will feature two gardens, a courtyard, and entrances in both the front and back. Unfortunately, the construction of this building takes place on one of the more popular parking lots on campus, and this has some students frustrated. Uh, I feel as though it's a little ridiculous because I pay enough money that I should be able to park here, and they took away all these parking spots, and I have to walk about eight blocks to school. I understand that the religious department needs a new building, but I don't think they need to put it where there's a parking lot. Though the parking may be a problem for some students, William said that the Bright School followed all regulations involving the matter. Um, I'm glad to say that the, the question of solving parking issues on the TCU campus belongs to someone other than right. me. And while parking is temporarily unavailable during the construction process, Williams ensures that the outcome will be well worth it when the facility is finished. Ashley Iovine, TCU News Now.